Welcome. In this section, we'll talk about generic nursing orders, and they're really a potpourri of different kinds of orders that the nurses look at. Um, and so in order to get to that, you'd make sure you were in the orders section, um, and then you'd click Add. And the various generic nursing orders that are there are found in the Nursing Orders folder. You could also search for them, but it, they're neatly organized there. So we're going to go basically from top to bottom and select various key orders. The first one we're going to do is select this care set called pick line insertion. And this order, this care set, which is different than a power plan, has uh, you know X-ray, um, uh, X-rays before and after the pick line. So you know here's a peripheral inserted pick line care order, and here's the fluoro guided pick line order. So you click OK. So both will get placed from this care set. The tube feed order set basically has a tube feeding order, an enteral tube flush, and a tube care order. So you click OK. Um, we'll manipulate these orders afterwards. We're going to select um, anti-embolic anti -embol anti stockings. Let's say remove once per shift. Um, code status, which you should know how to enter in a code status. A communication order is a generic order to the nurse or the unit secretary. Um, here you'd select the none option so you can actually type in what you would like. Um, discharge patient 2 is actually the discharge order. and One can send the patient to nursing home, home, or any of these options. So let's say they're going to go to home. That's the actual discharge order. Uh, discharge planning is nice because you can uh, define what resources are needed for discharge. Discontinue generic means discontinue anything on the patient. However, there's specific orders like discontinue PCA, which triggers the nurse pharmacy and the nurse to discontinue the PCA, discontinue urinary catheter. Now, maybe you want to use it for post-op day one, but you can, all, of course, alternatively change it um, to any other options. And we'll discuss about that. Uh, drain discontinue, well you maybe want to define, uh, maybe I want a surgical site drain to be stopped. Um, NG, NGOG tube insertion is a tube insertion NG order. Uh, notify provider, maybe you want to be notified if there's a fever or you could select none and type in something you want to be notified about. Um, and then there is orthostatic vital, sometimes you want to set, see how dehydrated perhaps someone is. Um, Pick line discontinue, that's an order. It kind of tags the nurses to discontinue the pick line. And physical therapy, and now here you might want mobility, evaluation for mobility for physical therapy, as well as um, speech therapy you might want for uh, uh, cognition or DC pending, for instance, evaluate for speech therapy. Um, there's a status change order. Sometimes someone goes from OBS to in, in to OBS. Let's say someone is going to an inpatient, you would select that option. Um, there's, of course, SCD boots. There's also this uh, transfer to order. Let's say you want to transfer someone to the ICU, you would select ICU here. So I've selected a good set of uh, orders to now evaluate and kind of show you. So if I scroll to the top, you'll see the very first order that we're going to look at, their details. So admission so this is the code status order and let's say currently on the top here it says not listed maybe I want to define full code and here you'd say paper filled out form completed no because you really don't need a paper that says full code however if you were to select uh, yes um, you would want for a DNR you'd want to fill out the paper and you'd say yes I filled out the paper the the form the, the consent form Discharge patient home, it just says home to home, no home care services. Discharge planning, maybe uh, they need uh, pick line care. So any kind of instructions you want, you type it into this yellow box for discharge planning. Status change, patient goes from OBS to IN, you put in the status change order to IN. They're going to be here for two more midnights, and the reason is because they're really sick. And post this discharge plans, maybe they are going to home, and you just type in home in this yellow field where they're going to go. The transfer to order is interesting because um, here it says uh, transfer this patient to and what unit you can put them to any of these units. You can then say sitter yes or no and then the bariatric if there's a bariatric bed needed and if cardiac monitor yes or no. So that's a transfer to. Um, status change also requires a diagnosis. I'm sorry. Um, so you click add and maybe they have a urinary tract infection 
and so any any admission status or status change order always requires a diagnosis. So moving along, orthostatic vitals here, it's going to be saying that it, it's going to be done now once. Alternatively, you can change the frequency and you could change it to whatever you would like. And uh, any other special instructions could be typed in here. You also have order comments to use. Tube feeding is very interesting. You need to define the formula. So uh, maybe they you want a um, diabetic and nutritional route, maybe P O G J so N G. Maybe they want a J tube feeding in a rate of 30 mils per hour, like that. Um, that's how you would put in the tube feeding orders. Um, and then any other instructions like decrease to 10 cc's per hour at after 9 p.m. So there'll be special instructions that you can type in. Um, peripherally inserted catheter, a pick line, simply in order to put in a pick line. Enteral tube flush, this is the tube flushing tube feed orders as flush with 60 mLs of water before. And so you can adjust these, uh, you know, maybe you want 50 mLs of water. You can adjust the instructions for tube flushing. Next is the enteral tube feed care. So to take care, like general nursing care, to take care of the tube, tube itself. Anti-embolic anti thigh high stroke thigh high stockings you would want two legs bilateral that's the choice lower legs I'm sorry legs bilateral that's what it's asking you for that the communication order this is a generic communication order to the nurse or the unit secretary you might want to say please call me when family is at bedside these are generic communication orders discontinue maybe you want to say discontinue drain after 5 p.m. Uh, today so it gives them specific instructions to discontinue the drain. Patient controlled PCA, so discontinue PCA, that's just you can put in the future date and time. Maybe you want it tonight at 1700. You want today to discontinue the drain, the PCA. Discontinue urinary catheter, same thing, just simply define when you want to do it. Now here it says DC post-op day one. Um, you might put in post-op day two or any other conditionals. Um, um, uh, discontinue drain, same thing, surgical site drain, discontinue it. Uh, naso or gastric tube insertion is basically an order to put in an NG tube. Notify provider, notify me if something. So you might want to change this to if temperature greater than 101 and systolic BP less than 90. So, you know, just kind of conditions upon, to, for them to notify you on. Peripherally inserted catheter discontinues. This is a pick line discontinue. You might say, please discontinue tomorrow. And then you might want to put in the date for tomorrow and say 0900. That's military time. So that's date and time of your discontinue for the pick line. Then there's a floral guided uh, pick line insertion. So you might say, pick line insertion. So that's the reason for the x-ray exam is uh, they're going to get a pick line inserted. Next one is a speech therapy, so maybe reason for a referral, maybe you want to say dysphagia. They came in with stroke, you want speech eval for dysphagia. And it's discharge pending status. So they're pending discharge, please do them to do it soon. So these are the kind of the generic potpourri orders that you could use. You can click sign and at that stage you will have signed all these orders into the place uh, into the chart without signing they're not in the chart make sure you click refresh on the top right corner and now it says ordered 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 all those orders have been placed for the for the patient thank you for listening this is the end of this session